Today we're going to be making mochi pho or pho or however you want to call it. It's pretty much beef noodles from Vietnam. We're going to be using chicken broth instead of the typical beef broth but we're still going to give mochi the juicy beef topping that typical pho's have. I'm sure mochi's going to like that, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to like that. Here, have a bean scroll for now. Okay, let's get started! So we already preheated the water, but we're just going to wait for it to reboil again. Here we have our chicken, our rice noodles, our bean sprouts, and our beef. And we also have a mimic of green onions. It's yu toy. We're going to chop that up and have it as our green onion topping on the typical pho. So, yeah. so the water is boiled now. We're going to drop the chicken in and let it boil for maybe half an hour to an hour or so so you can get all the flavor out of it. So while we wait, we're going to cut out the yu choy that we're going to be using as garnish. <laughs> well, she already wants a bite. You want a bite? Should I give you a piece? So we're going to be taking out the chicken now and we're going to shred it as an additional topping to our pho. Mochi is already ready to eat it. <laughs> and then we're going to use the soup to boil the rice noodles so we can just cook everything in one pot and everything will be really simple. <laughs> Probably be juicy. More flavor for the noodles. It soaks in the chicken though. We didn't add any salt or any flavor because we want it more healthier. Okay, that's about all the chicken we have. It's probably more than enough for mochi. We're probably gonna freeze some and use it for his dog food. We're gonna be cooking the rice noodle now. This is the rice noodle. It's dry. We're gonna be using like maybe half of it. Oh, he's too excited. I think he'll be able to finish the whole stack if he really wants to. He but can, but then that might be too much for him. Yeah. yeah, so that's another like five minutes. Yeah, that one after it boils, it's good. Okay, want a bite of the chicken first? Ooh, you swallowed it. You didn't even chew it. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Hey, no, 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 you swallowed it. <laughs> At least you chewed that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's better to do that one, Mochi. <laughs> Finish it, little oh. So the noodles should be ready now. We're gonna be taking out the noodles so they don't get too soggy. We're gonna be using our VV pet bowl that they sent us. Very adorable. Ooh. Gonna take this out and let it cool before Mochi eats it because it's steaming. <laughs> Now we're going to be filling these container up with the chicken so we're going to put it away in the freezer just so we can use it later Mochi <laughs> so we can use it later to top his dog food when we couldn't when we don't have time to cook for him we'll just put some of these on top so there's more nutrition we've also noticed that like chicken broth Giving uh, mochi chicken broth causes, uh, allows him his pee to be clearer and I think it's like a detox in his body and the pee doesn't smell as bad so we're probably gonna be cooking some chicken broth and freezing it so we can give it to him daily to cleanse his body. 
There's still a lot of chicken left. Okay. We're gonna be cooking his beef and bean sprouts now. So that they're warm. And the beef is cooked. The pho is almost ready, Mochi Ball. Are you ready? Are you excited? You ready to eat? Very excited. He's been like wanting chicken. <laughs> hey, 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 not yet. We're almost done! We pretty much took out all the meat and the veggies and let the soup cool. Now, all we need to do is cut up all these items and top the noodles. Okay. Okay, time to top your noodles. First, we put the bean sprouts. <laughs> what she said? I'm gonna put the bean sprouts. But she's already ready to eat. DC's <laughs> tongue. Not yet. Not yet. Let me reach one. Okay, not the chopstick. Okay, no, no, no. Wait. Wait for it. And then the garnish. These are green onions. And then we're gonna get the soup. So we're finally done with our pho. So this is how it looks. We have the bottom, which is rice noodles, topped with chicken, bean sprouts, and beef. And then we have some yu choy to garnish it, which is supposed to be our green onions. So yeah, we're gonna add the soup now. Wait, mochi. Almost done. Our soup, it's cold. So we're pretty much finished with the pho now. We put it in a BB pet bowl that we received. It's a really elegant and elevated so it's easier for Mochi to eat. And his fur doesn't actually dip inside. That's like our main problem when he drinks water. It always dips inside the water. So this one is higher so then his fur won't be as easy to dip inside. So Mochi, are you ready to taste test now? Okay, Mama, you may try. Hey, what are you doing? I thought you were so eager to try. Come on, you can eat now. Do you want me to teach you how to eat? <laughs> you know how to use the chopstick, don't you? I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> He's Asian, he needs chopsticks. <laughs> you need me to okay, help you? Mom, mom, mom. He's drinking the soup first. Yummy? How does it taste? It seems like he's enjoying everything. Even the veggies. Um, he's probably gonna savor the taste, so maybe a while. Let me let me stir it a bit so that it's like mixed. You can get like the noodles. And for those who are interested, this is the bowl that BB Pet sent us. It's their elevated dog bowl. It makes feeding mochi so much easier because he's less likely to dip his fur into wet food. They also have other designs and also cat bowls. So if you guys are interested, we'll leave the link below. You guys can check them out. I think mochi has a food coma now. Look at him. I think he's going to pass out very soon. 
Good night, Winchy. Bye.